Howdy! Welcome to a brand new Let's Play, Let's Play Pokemon. As you can tell by this iconic opening, uh, it's Pokemon Blue for Referential Point. My first and favorite Pokemon uh, game of the generation. Even though Yellow's a pretty close second, I just have a bit more nostalgia for this. We're going to be doing a little bit different on the channel today. An RPG, something I haven't really done a lot of on this channel. I know I tried to do Paper Mario and that will be coming back, as you've seen probably with earlier... Um, stuff on the channel or from the video earlier today um, I am doing some of the older uh, let's plays and trying to get them circumvented and cycled through throughout the channel so you will see Paper Mario but for now uh, like I like the rest of America and the world really at this point we're having kind of some Pokemon fever and I have uh, I had been playing um, Pokemon on my 3DS and I, and I sat there and I went, well why don't I just record this and make this a lot of fun so we're gonna do things a little differently than I do normally do in Pokemon uh, it is just gonna be a normal playthrough from start to finish uh, no 100% here no need for that but uh, we're just gonna have some fun with it and uh, one of the big things is I'm gonna kind of let the crowd and myself name Pokemon uh, so put some names out there something that you like something that's enjoyable please something semi-appropriate as this is gonna be archived um, and I'll kind of sift through them have some fun that way I have a few names from the beginning Pokemon and I will start it the way I always do but hello there welcome to the world of Pokemon my name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. Oh, it's opening. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Well, of course everyone knows it. I get to actually proclaim the first name of this game, and that is Blue. Thank you, game, for having it preset up for me. Right, so your name is Blue. Ah, oh, this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what is his name again? I love how he can't remember his own name. I'm gonna go with the classic Red, just because it kind of fits for this. Uh, Blue v. Red just always has fit that way. Uh, I know lore-wise it's the other way around, but I'm gonna do it this way. So that's right. I remember him now. His name is Red. Alright, so Blue, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Shrink down into a tiny little human size. Alright, so yeah. So overall, how we're going to play this game is I'm just going to play it like a normal game, as I said. and I'm actually going to use nicknames. It's something I don't normally do when I play Pokemon, but uh, we're just going to kind of go with it and let people have some fun. So Blue is playing the SNES or Super Nintendo. Okay, it's time to go. Ah, Super Nintendo. Excellent console. More, more. I have to do more games with it in the future, and I kind of have a setup now to be able to do it. So, let's go to our PC. Withdraw the lovely potion that's sitting in it. Uh, uh, so yeah, with Pokemon, I've. It's it's one of the very first games I've uh can deeply remember outside of Super Mario 64 and all that. So I have a big affiliation with it, uh, just because of the age range and all that. So. Mom, right, all boys leave home someday. It's said on TV. <laughs> I love how you had to be told that on TV. Professor Oak, next door, is looking for you. Alright. So, I'll try and uh, reduce the grinding on screen uh, with a little bit of off play as I go through. There's not too much grinding in this first game that needs to be done. I'm raising Pokemon too. When they get strong, they can protect me. Alright. So, I'm just going to kind of jump into this, walk right into the grasses. There's not too much... Uh, much to do, just kind of kick it off. So, okay, wait, don't go out there. I love the, like the glitches you can get this guy into. Oak, it's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. All right, Oak. I love the sprite work in these first games. They're they're simple. You still get the anime feel for them, but uh, they they really work for their time. I really like them. Red, Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Red, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Blue. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. -ha. They are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose. Alright. Hey, Gramps. What about me? Uh, be patient, Red. You can have one, too. Alright, so, Pokemon I'm gonna go with. 
So the one I started with, and we're gonna kind of go from there. He's he is my favorite of the starters, even though I understand. Let's see if I can remember which one it is. I did pick it right away. So Squirtle, he's my man. Always has been. We're gonna run with him. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. Yes, I definitely want the water Pokemon. Squirtle is uh like I said, he's my homeboy. I love me some some Squirtle. This Pokemon is really energetic. I received a Squirtle. All right, you want to give him a nickname? Yes, and I have the name for him. It's gonna be Bubbles, cause uh, why not? I'm not good with. We'll see what kind of creative names I inevitably come up with on the fly here as we go through. So that'd be good. Po we get Bubbles, which will be nice and strong. And then Gary's gonna end up picking a red. I'm gonna call him Gary regardless. I'll take this one then. Red received Bulbasaur. As, as he always picks the opposite of you. Alright, so we should be good to go. Let's leave and oh no. Red, wait blue, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Oh, the classic music. I love the... It's technically like a 4-bit, 8-bit palette for the music. It's really well done for his time, so... Red wants to fight. Sent out Bulbasaur! And as you can tell, I'm, I'm kind of playing on a Game Boy Advance emulator to try and give some color into the game. Uh, normally in the old games, if you're not playing it on uh, the, the actual Game Boy, it's either pure blue or pure red. I figured I'd add some color by playing with the Game Boy Advance, so a little bit more stylized and stylish. Oh no, he tackled. So this fight is kind of a bit of a crapshoot. Um, I've won it and I've lost it. Um, my biggest strategy is to kind of just keep tackling. Um, I know you could use Tail Whip or... I think they all have tail whip? No, uh, Charmander has Growl. And to slow down the computer player. But, as you can see, I got a critical, so that's gonna kinda benefit me here. Um, we'll see if I end up losing. I'm kinda getting close here. I think I have a potential one. Uh oh. Uh oh, am I gonna lose this? Oh, no, I got another critical. I think I got this. If he doesn't hit me with a critical. Oh, and he growls. Okay. Also, Squirtle's the only one with Tail Whip. I thought Bulbasaur would have it too. I've never started it with Bulbasaur before, so. Yeah, hey, gained some XP. Go to level 6. Woohoo, 6 of 21. Blue defeated Red. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Blue got $175. Woohoo. Okay. I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Blue, Gramps, smell you later. What a dumb phrase. Anyways. Alrighty then. Well, let's see. Let's talk to Oak. See if he has anything. Blue, raise your young Pokemon by making it fight. That sounds so bad. <laughs> anyway, so now that I have my, my little Pokemon, let's go get it healed up by our mother because uh, we don't want to have a weak Pokemon going into the grass. And I'm going to try and get through Route 1 as fast as possible. Blue, you should take a quick rest. Um, try and go through the grass. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Uh, we're going to try and go through the grass here as fast as possible. Uh, one thing you want to do before kind of going through Route 1, though, uh, stop here. I believe she'll give you a map. Hi, Blue. Reads out at Grandpa's lab. No, you have, to, you have to do it when you come back. Okay. I don't remember the order sometimes at the very beginning here, so... But yeah, we're going to try and get through this as fast as possible. I'll fight anything that kind of comes up. Won't be too difficult. Uh, just a lot of Pidgeys and Patatas. Uh, Bubbles, go! I like that name, Bubbles. You can say it in cute little fashion, or you can say it really fiercely. Though I think Bubbles is one of, those, it's one of the hardest words to... I don't, I don't even think it's possible to make it sound like really aggressive and mean. It's just, I think it's the, the bubble part of it. And then with the L's. Alright, Gust. One thing I don't like about the original Pokemon is Gust. I, I'm doing this when I was replaying. Um, is Gust uh, is normal type in this game versus flying, which makes no sense now that I've played enough generations of Pokemon. Because I've played them all. It's just, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So, alright. So, shortest path because we can't really catch anything right now. And I will try to catch as much as I can. Kind of enjoy it from there. Um, let people name as I catch them on screen. Uh, we'll just kind of play, like I said, I'll, I'll try to do the least amount of grinding as possible that's needed, and if so, I'll do it off-screen uh, more than anything, just so uh, just so it's not so tedious and boring on-screen. So, 
Uh, another question that I have, so what, something I tried out on, uh, when I was playing on 3DS was I was actually doing a Mew run, where I had a Mew in my party. Um, and I wondered about doing that for this Let's Play, because how, how often do you get to play with a Mew in your party through the whole game? Because you can get them as early as the second gym. So, I'll pose that question out in the comments. I know it's a legendary, most people don't like to do things with legendaries, but I think it'd be a lot of fun just to kind of have a cool little different kind of playthrough. So, hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Blue got Oak's parcel. All right then. Uh, all right. So now we get to run all the way back to Oak. Luckily, there's these cliffs. I liked how they did this for sprite work. Even though I never saw them as cliffs when I was younger, they look like more like ropes or roadblocks that you have to jump. And I don't know. I never saw them as uh, cliffs. So. Uh, definitely in later, um, Pokemon games isn't known, so. Alright, let's go to Oak. Talk to him. Oh, Blue. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Blue delivered Oak's parcel. And this is just so we can get our Pokedex. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Gramps. What did you call me for? Oh, right, I have a request of, of you two. On the desk there is my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Blue and red. Take these with you. Blue got Pokedex, woohoo! And now we can actually start catching Pokemon and actually use them to our advantage. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Blue, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Blue. Ha ha ha. Uh, what a jerk. Jerk face. Alright, with that, let's go this way. Wind up. Let's go talk and get that town map, as that could be useful. I don't use it too much when I go through these go through this game. It asks you to run an errand. Because this will help you. But it's nice to have, uh, just in case. And just uh, for future reference, so. Um, overall, though, uh, coming back and replaying this game, at least on the 3DS... I have to say, this game is a lot better than I remember. Like, I remember being back like, oh, the walking was slow and all this, and it was things that I figured I'd have problems when I came back to playing the game. But to be, oh, I forgot, I, I, I thought the guy gives you Pokeballs. Oh, no. Okay, small cut as the emulator decided to be Gooby. But, um, yeah, I forgot the Pokeballs, I think, back there. Oh, tail whip, tail whip, tail whip, bubbles. Defense fell. No, oh, no, Bubbles, don't lose defense. They got the Rattata. Alright. Take it out with Tackle. Tackle it to death. There we go. Alright. Alright, level 7. One thing I didn't, like I said, where I was talking about the balancing, I did, I did the walking and the, the slower animations, I thought would bother me coming back at night, but I actually find the game to be somewhat challenging and still really well balanced, I still feel today. Um, it is kind of easier later. But the beginning definitely teaches you it's the game really well. Let's step with aid. Uh, I know one of you guys gives me Pokeballs. Which one? No, none of you, I swear. Well, I guess not. Maybe I'm just crazy. Alright, I'm allowed to be crazy. Alright, let's rush up. I think I'm going to try and get back to uh, Vermilion City as fast as possible. Oh, Pidgey. Um, and that's where I'll probably end this episode. Getting back up there. Next episode, um, I'm gonna train, I'm gonna probably train some Pokemon in between. Um, and we'll see what we can catch and, and use to our advantage going forward. Oh, Gust. Let me alone with Gust. Alrighty then. Uh... But yeah, balancing-wise, it's pretty good. 
Um, I think there's only a few things that still bother me in this game. Um, overall, one is some of the typings in the game. The the chart was not well balanced in some areas, but overall, like animations. Oh, and the, and my biggest gripe is the XP, not being able to see the XP bar. Uh, well, welcome to addition to the second gen, and it's, and it's why I generally hold second gen above gen one, as much as gen one is really good and a solid game. Um, coming back to it, it's kind of climbed the ranks as in my favorites in a while. I used to put it down a little lower because um, I had a few that I liked more, but I actually think Gen 1's a little bit better than I gave it credit to back in the day. But, uh, I, there are still some things that are very tedious. So, anyways guys, I hope you like this first part of, uh, Let's Play Pokemon. Uh, next time on Pokemon Blue... We will kind of continue forward. Um, one of the things we have to do is I have to get catch some Pokemon. Uh, in between, I'm going to train up Squirtle. Uh, well, that's Squirtle. Bubbles. I'm going to get Bubbles nice and powerful. Get him to about level 9, level 10, so we can then take on Red. And uh, take on at least on that first rival fight. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Unless play Pokemon Blue. See you guys later. Bye-bye.